Hello everyone. Welcome to KBS Engineering YouTube channel. All right. So uh, today I'm going to teach you aircraft jacking. So uh, in the previous aircraft general, I did uh, four lessons. So I thought to do uh, aircraft general, aircraft jacking, and next lesson will be come on uh, as a towing procedure. So after finish all these three lessons, I'm going to uh, review or I'm going to discuss some uh, question uh, series for you for the uh, general uh, aircraft jacking and uh, towing. So uh, maybe after not the next lesson, after next lesson, I will do an, an uh, uh, question in thing. So you can join for this uh, video and you can get a, uh, and some idea and you can uh, improve your knowledge by uh, using the questions and answers right all right so uh, for today uh, if you still not see the previous videos so uh, i will uh, sorry i will put uh, the card i mean the playlist of this card in the above so you can check it out uh, through this card all right so uh, today lesson is aircraft jacking uh, so in this lesson, you will learn about the jacking procedure of A319, A320 and A321, right? So uh, there are, uh, sorry, three jacking points when equipped with the jacking pads are used to lift the aircraft, right? So they have three points here and here. So we are using three jacking pads to use the aircraft to lift right so the po uh, the forward point a is located forward of the nose landing gear so remember the forward point this is the a the forward point is located forward of the nose landing gear and the point b and b premium are located outboard of the engine pylon so this is the two points and these two points i mean b points located outboard of the pylon right so here is the pylon you can see this is the outboard of the pylon and the safety jack positions at the rear of the aircraft prevent the aircraft from tipping up. So there is a safety jack. So uh, the safety jack we are using uh, why uh, to prevent the aircraft from tipping up. All right. So now let's go to the next page. See the limitations here. This is the aircraft. You can see the wind direction. So you can see the logo uh, jacking point logo. This is the like, jacking point logo. Right, the open air jacking operation is limited if wind velocity exceeds permissible value, which depends on aircraft gross weight and center of gravity. All right, so in any conditions, the aircraft must be pointing off wind. So any conditions, the aircraft must be pointed to the wind when we jacking. All right, so in here, the precautions, three jack, uh, sorry, these three jack must be operated together. You have to remember, right? So if you jack some aircraft, you have to, uh, operate the three jacks i mean the nose jack and two main jacks have to operate it together right the uh, the aircraft has to be lifted so that the landing gear can be operated in the landing gear shock absorbers deflated tires configuration so when the jack process is complete set the safety jack as a tail support it means first we have to jack the aircraft using these three i mean a point and the b points two b points and after you finish the jack then you can use these safety jacks to secure the aircraft from prevent from tipping up. All right, so this is the forward jack point. You can see, see the jacking points. So jacking pads has to be used under the jacking points to spread the loads, right? So when we use, uh, when we are jacking, we are using the jacking pads for what? Uh, to spread the loads, right? So these are the jacking pads. So this is the nose landing gear jacking pads and these are the uh, main landing gears uh, jacking pads. All right. Okay. Uh, so the leveling, when you think about the leveling to ensure that the excessive side loads are not placed on the jacks and on the aircraft structure. The quick leveling check must be carried out during the jacking operations. Quick leveling check uh, must be carried out during the jacking operations. So the aircraft uh, altitude monitor in the locator in the refuel, defuel uh, control panel recess, and the D4 positions correspond to the longitudinal angle of zero degrees and the lateral angle of uh, zero degrees, right? So this is the quick leveling up and the new aircraft, I mean the new, uh, new generation aircraft they are using alpha call up to uh, pitch and roll to uh, check the uh, aircraft leveling all right so this is uh, for the old aircraft system right so in future i will do the difference i mean the new updates of the uh, uh, new aircraft right new technology all right so uh, 
yeah that is the end of a uh, checking procedure right so it's a very short video for you i think uh, if you need more information you can go to the internet and you can check more uh, knowledge about how to jacking and you can see more videos how to jack an aircraft so these kind of things you can uh, get uh, some more knowledge about this all right so uh, thank you for participating in these lessons so uh, next lesson i'm going to do the towing procedure so make sure uh, to stick with me for get uh, an idea about how to uh, about the towing procedure so if you still not subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel uh, kvhn engineering and uh, also uh, just share this video uh, to your friends or your relatives who like to become an aircraft uh, a technician or engineer. And uh, if you like this video, please like the uh, like button. And also, uh, if you're uh, looking forward to see more videos through my uh, KVision Engineering, please tell the bell icon for upcoming videos. All right, so that's the end of this lesson. Thank you for joining again. So let's meet our next lesson.